Well, we're just five days away from the KCRA 3 Blood Drive for Life. We've been partnering up with Vitalin to collect life-saving donations for patients in the hospital. It's really needed right now, mm -hmm. and one of those patients who needed help was Caitlin Musolf. She's now healthy again, and as KCRA 3's Brandy Cummings reports, this is all thanks to plasma donations. Her smile. These are where our, we do our donor evaluation. Her walk. This young woman doesn't show the medical crisis she survived, the rare illness she lives with today. I was terrified. I had no idea what was going on. Um, I was completely healthy up until um, that day. At 16 years old, a junior in high school, Caitlin Musolf had the world ahead of her. I was going to school. Um, I was looking for my first job, hanging out with friends. I did a lot of swimming back then. I did boxing back then, uh, a lot of sports and fun stuff. But a headache, then a tingling feeling. Her symptoms got progressively worse. My legs were really weak when I stood up. Um, and between then and three days, I was completely paralyzed from the neck down. After several ER visits with no idea of what was going on, Finally, then came a shocking and heartbreaking diagnosis. The teen had Guillain-Barre syndrome, a rare autoimmune disorder. This photo from the Mayo Clinic showing how it happens. In some cases, it eats at the coating of the nerve, and in other cases, it eats um, the actual inside of the nerve. Um, in my case, it actually did both. She had to relearn how to walk talk and eat. These pictures show her time in rehab. It's not clear what caused the sickness, but Caitlin is clear about what helped her get better. The IVIG definitely um, kick-started my um, ability to start working with those doctors. Um, I did a lot of physical therapy with um, my physical therapist, and I also did a lot of swimming and activities at home with my uh, grandpa. IVIG, you just heard her mention, comes from antibodies that our body makes to fight infections. To put things into perspective, Caitlin got a week's worth of IVIG treatments. It takes hundreds of blood donors to get just one dose of IVIG. So for people like me, it was basically the only medication they know so far that helps with Guillain-Barre, and it helps others with a lot of um, illnesses like mine kickstart their ability to get better. That's why your time and your donation can make a difference. Now, 16 years after her diagnosis, Caitlin is living her dream, working as a donor care specialist at Vitalant, taking care of people like these donors who one day helped her. Rare illnesses are only rare until it's you or until it's somebody that you care about. And I think the reason only 3% of eligible donors actually donate is because they don't realize how needed it really is until it is them or until it's somebody that they know. Thank you. In Roseville, Brandy Cummings, KCRA 3 News. Well, if you want to donate to this year's Blood Drive for Life, we're urging people to make appointments ahead of time. And to do that, just uh, put your cell phone camera up and grab the QR code you see on your screen. That'll take you to a link with all the info. The Blood Drive coming up January 5th through the 8th at two locations in Sacramento and Rockland.